Okay guys, so in this video I'm gonna walk you through how to make this effect of some text basically just falling down like this and then kind of falling away as you can see here. So let's have a little bit of a look. So the way that this is done is that I've added this little span element here that has well, basically two components. We have some text and a small span around the word awesome that I just highlighted red just because it's fun. And then I have this little element here, which is this word that he keeps dropping in and then kind of dropping out. And the way that this works is basically that this element, as you can see here, so it starts at the top position there with a bit of an offset. It's completely hidden and then it falls down into view and then it falls away and becomes invisible and then it goes all the way back up to the, into the top while its opacity is actually set to, well, to zero. So if we look at the code here, we'll, we can actually just look it through it a little bit here. So, so here we have our span element with the text and this word that is highlighted in red. And then we have this little span here that is called awesome thing. And to achieve this effect, we have this tiny little bit of a JavaScript here that basically is going gonna, is gonna to get this element here, which is the like the, the element that holds the actual word that we want to show in yellow. And then we have this little array here with things that are awesome. And then I've created this little wait function here. And the reason why I want to do that is because I want to run these things on an interval. And I want to wait a little bit while the animation actually plays so I can just repeat this endlessly. So the way that I do this is basically that I call this, like I just have this function that takes a function and some type of timeout and then I return a new promise where I basically just care about like the resolve callback of my promise and then that's going to just take a set timeout function and all that's going to do is that uh, that's going to resolve whatever the, ever the results of my function that I pass in actually is. I will just basically call a function within the set timeout and then I will resolve the result of, results of that. And that's all that, that's all there is to it. And then I pass in my timeout. And so I create this little closure here with the async keyword because I want to be able to await these um, asynchronous operations. And then I have this little index here and then I have a while true loop or an endless loop as we call it. That is, this is just gonna run forever, right? Now, all that's gonna happen now is that I'm going to await my like this function here. So what I want to do here is that I want to add the class like uh, the show class to my element, which is this thing up here. So if we have a look at that, we'll see here that if I add show, I'm going to set the opacity to one, and then I'm going to transform my element from on the y-axis to zero pixels. And the reason why I want to do that is because my awesome thing has a position of absolute. And basically the reason why I want to do that is because if it's not position absolute, the screen is going to jitter because it's going to take up space in the document. And I don't want that. I want it to be outside. I want it to be just like, I don't want it to take any dimensional size. I don't want it to take a width or a height or anything like that. I just want it to be this entity that kind of floats on the screen. And I start with an opacity of zero and a transform, a transform where I've translated my element just 50 pixels on the y-axis so that I get this nice drop-in effect. And then I decided to, all right, so I'm going to say transition all 0.5 seconds. So all the, like the, the changes I actually make is going to run over 0.5 seconds. And then I add a little bit of perspective to this as well so I can just like pull back my view my viewport a little bit so that the actual folding and rotation looks a little bit nicer. Cool and so basically that's all that's happening so first and foremost we are going to apply the show and we're gonna set the content or the text content of my awesome element here to one of the indexes so in, in the first iteration it's gonna be zero so the first thing is gonna be you and then I do this, where I reallocate my index to basically just increment the index, and then I use the modules operator, which is going to divide 
by as like basically do an even division of all like basically it's going to take the thing on the left and divide it into the thing on the right as many times as is, that's possible to evenly do that and return the remainder of that and what's good about that is that this is a very useful trick for when you want to create a grouping effect so what's going to happen is that when index is zero and this is going to be this is basically three so zero goes into three well zero times because like you can't you, know, you or rather the remainder of that is going to be zero and then you're going to try to make it into a one and that goes into like the remainder of one divided by three is going to be one like and you, you hopefully you get the idea and then it's going to go to two and then finally it's going to go to three and the remainder of three divided by three is going to be zero and then it just starts over like that so it just keeps on rotating and uh, it's a it's a neat little trick if you want to just group something and then finally we have this, or well finally, but we have this other weight function that's going to like run just like well, this runs over the like over the course of one uh, like 1000 milliseconds or one second and this is going to run over 1.5 where we simply hide like we simply say that uh, this runs after one second and this runs after 1.5 seconds and hide is very like it's basically this little thing here where we go back to opacity zero and then we do a small slightly different thing where all right so now instead of going upwards on the y-axis we go downwards 50 pixels and then we rotate 90 degrees and that's where this like falling away effect comes from so you actually go down and then you dis like the element disappears right and then finally we remove our show and hide from uh, like basically from all of this and we just redo the whole thing again right and that's the entire loop so uh, uh, that's all that's happening really so we animate it down first and foremost it gets to be shown it falls away and disappears and goes all the way up to the top again and picks a new word and then it just rotates over and over over this array and yeah, that's basically how you can achieve this sort of effect where you have some type of, well, falling text, basically. I hope you have a great day.